Today we are going to look at how to add a menu bar icon for your Catalyst app. So as you can see here, uh, this is my app and I'm running under Catalyst. So Mac Catalyst is nothing but a system that lets you run your iOS app onto your Mac without any changes. So if you see here in Development Info tab on your Apps General section, uh, you can see this Mac Catalyst option here and that is ticked. So that means this iOS app will run directly on Mac as an iPad app. So it will use the iPad interface for Mac. And it will also try to convert some of the system controls uh, to look more like Mac uh, when running under Catalyst. So what I wanted to do for my app uh, Additionally, was to show a menu bar icon for my app on the Mac menu bar like this. Um, so for doing that, I had to access AppKit code from Catalyst. And as you guys might know, that Apple don't allow access to AppKit APIs from Catalyst app. So if you're building Catalyst app, you're only allowed to use UIKit system. So if I run this app, You can see a window comes up that is my Catalyst app window. So it's all iOS code running on Mac on the Catalyst environment. And you can see in the menu bar I have this icon showing up with the open and quit menu items. So you can see the Catalyst app is showing a menu bar icon on the Mac. And then uh, if you if this window is not on focus and you click on open, it can make the window focused and you close it and then click on open and window comes back and you can even quit that app from here. Get subscribed and turn on the bell notification so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's see how I solve this issue. So as you know, Apple will not allow you to access AppKit APIs at all from your iOS app that is running under Catalyst. So for accessing AppKit APIs, you have to create a new target that is for Mac. So you go here and click on this plus button and then select Mac OS and search for framework and click next. And you can name your framework uh, anything, but I'm gonna name it App Get Bridge. And then choose your project here and leave the embed section empty. And I'm gonna use Swift as the language and click on finish. Because um, I already created this target, so I'm not gonna create it again. I'm gonna cancel it. So once you click on the finish, you'll get this new App Get Bridge target and once you have this, uh, go to your Catalyst app target and go and scroll down, go to frameworks, libraries and embedded content section and make sure this app kit bridge dot framework is present. If it's not, click on the plus button and search and add it. And also make sure in the filters, uh, you, un you untick all the platforms but Mac Catalyst. So we are gonna build we are gonna embed this framework only in the Mac Catalyst target. And once you have this target and uh, you have set up your catalyst target to use this framework under Mac Catalyst, then you move on to create a AppKit controller class. Like you can name this class anything, uh, just that whenever you make this file make sure that you uh, uh, you add this file to the AppKit bridge target and once you define your class that would be the controller uh, you'll have to initialize it in from inside your uh, catalyst target so this is my catalyst target class status bar controller that, that this is gonna use that uh, AppKit controller class so now let's first look at AppKit controller class uh, it is using NS status bar 
and a status item API to create the menu bar icon on top and as you can see here it's setting the icon on the status bar and also creating this menu open and quit open is just going to focus the app to the front and quit is going to quit it I also have this window should close uh, that is NS window delegate as you can see here I'm assigning the main window delegate to self so that I can uh, override this function window should close that's because once the window is closed uh, this uh, NS application main window will return nil and there's no way to bring it back so what I do is I hide the window and return false this will avoid closing the window and then I'll just make it focused on it whenever someone clicks on the menu bar item so once you have this class set up uh, in your status bar controller in your catalyst target um, you, you, you have to load the framework that you created that is AppKit bridge framework so I'm getting the bundle path for the AppKit framework so if you see here in your catalyst target build phases you will see that it is an embedded framework so AppKit bridge is an embedded framework inside your catalyst app that is uh, exclusively embedded for Mac catalyst target uh, so it's inside the frameworks folder so here I'm just getting the path to that framework so once you have this bundle path you try to load the bundle and once the bundle is loaded you load the primary class of the bundle so this is the primary class uh, that is app that's the only class like it doesn't matter it's, it's not primary it's just a class inside that bundle app kit controller and once we have this class we initialize it so once you call init on it this piece of code is going to run and and because of it uh, the status bar icon will be initialized and an icon will be set on it and the menu bar will be created as well sorry for the noise outside I can't avoid it once you have this class uh, that will initialize your app kit controller framework bundle so this is status bar uh, a controller you can use in your apps main uh, section so here because I'm using Swift UI to write the iOS code uh, I'm gonna just create an observed object uh, that is that will be the status bar controller so once you uh, do this declaration it will try to initialize it initialize the status bar controller once the app is launched and as a result of that it's gonna initialize your app kit controller class that is here and that in turn will put the uh, menu bar item in the Mac menu bar so that's how you hook uh, up this uh, app kit bridge as a framework uh, that will run under that will be able to use your AppKit APIs even if you're not allowed to use any um, AppKit APIs from inside a Catalyst app as I've shown you already let's run the app one more time to see how it works so as you saw this window came up and then after about a second this uh, NS item uh, this uh, Mac menu bar item got loaded that's because uh, it has some timing problem so what I'm doing here is you can see, I'm delaying it by one second that's because uh, this call fails if your Mac catalyst app is not loaded and Mac catalyst app generally takes a little time to get instantiated fully so that's why this wait is necessary and or your uh, app will crash here if you try to do this uh, initialization before app is fully initialized that's where the crash happens so that's why I have this one second delay but I think you might be able to avoid it if you do this inside the, your content um, content view try to do that I'm doing it inside the app but you can do it your in your main content view here inside this I'm not gonna try it now but I'm gonna try it later and see if that in that case I will not need this um, one second delay but for now it works with the one second delay
you can add try yourself i think it will work and then and as you saw earlier like yeah this both menu items work as expected and let's quit that so that is it that i wanted to show you today um I'm gonna put a, some sort of sample code uh, using this AppKit bridge on my Patreon so you can check it out and please consider supporting the channel uh, if you want on Patreon I hope you liked it and you're gonna use this uh, technique in your apps I'm gonna see you next time bye bye